What is going on, chess fanatics? Uh, we are here for round 50, 58, 59 of the Rapid Rapid Chess Challenge. I uh, just ran upstairs to grab a package. Um, yeah, hopefully everyone's doing all right. We're going to pop into the 10 minute pool. I just had a bit of a recording malfunction, which is uh, a bit of a bummer, but hey, you know what happens sometimes. Without further ado, uh, we are going to play a poem 1589. Uh, out of Bangladesh, and we are, yeah, now rated 1617. So we lost a game in the Karo Khan. Uh, we missed Knight BD2 uh, in the pan off, which I was fully aware of and just neglected to play. That happens sometimes. So here we are. And uh, you know what? I uh, could have gone for the Tory attack again, but uh, we've been seeing that come up quite a bit. Now, I wonder if our opponent will push. I uh, find it always to be a bit of an overextension if they do. But uh, everything seems pretty principled thus far. Okay, so they capture as opposed to push. Pretty reasonable. We will uh, capture back with the e pawn in this position. Yeah, queen over, so just allows us to uh, get a bit of a battery here. Hmm. So they want to come here. What if we just do this? Now we might go uh, bishop to g5 here and threaten the capture. Obviously, I guess they're just going to play... Okay, so I saw this, but I thought, you know, we have that covered, so we're going to just castle, unless I'm missing something, which I very well could be. Okay, so we now have a bit of an imbalance here. So I can develop over here, but I'm not sure it does a whole lot. Threatened to take the knight here. And we will, in fact, take it. Just so we can open this position up. Okay, so our opponent chooses to castle. Interesting bishops versus knights. I mean, I feel like the bishops are going to be good in this position. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and push the h-pawn, jump the knight in, threaten mate. So obviously, just centralize some rooks here. Look to develop a knight in to uh, d4. Yeah, not a great position, just been playing some terrible chess lately. Trade off a pair of rooks here. Knight's nicely positioned, holding this down. Maybe we can jump into the center and create some challenges. Fortunately, we're a little bit tied down here. Okay, nice move. But what if we go here, I take, we take with check, capture back, eh, not ideal. Not ideal. We'll go for it though. Because with that capture back, we should be dropping that pawn. Well, maybe not. Just play b5. It's a pretty poor position here. Man, we've been playing uh, yeah, just some terrible chess as of late. Yeah, okay, and there we have it. Uh, drawn endgame. I feel like, you know, we could have had some sort of uh, chance through there, but uh, honestly, with the amount of mistakes that we've been making as of late, um, 
I'll I'll take it. Um, let's see here. Okay, so eighty one uh, point six versus eighty one point two. Um, yeah, you can see we definitely gave it up. Had a decent position at one point. Um, However, here we go. So apparently this was just the mistake. Whereas we should have just pushed and that gave us an advantage. Huh. I mean, do we not care about this at, at all? Just queen d4. Hmm. Okay. So we, yeah, definitely... Definitely gave up the advantage, but yeah, once once I saw this uh, move, I basically felt like we had a draw in hand. Um, yeah, man, just not great play, I gotta say. I don't know what the deal is as of late. Uh, you know, we had that uh, uh, that Bosch Carol Khan uh, recording, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, yeah, wound up at uh, sixteen sixteen, I guess. Uh, lost uh, lost a rating point. Definitely need to figure out how to stop the bleeding and look to start increasing uh, the scores once again. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.